Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn four different activities. One is select range, get selected range, get workbook sheet, and finally we are going to check get workbook sheets. Let me start with scenario. Friends, suppose if I want to select a range from A1 to H18, so how can we go ahead and we can select? We are having different activities like read range and all these things. But why we need to go for the select range? Let us assume if I'm going to get some requirement from the UI perspective or some from other URLs, then what we are going to do? We, are, we can read the data by using select range. So how much from which cell to which cell that the particular data has been selected, we can get it out by using select range. Okay. That is the first scenario to use the select range. Another one, if I want to know by using our boards, what is the range has been selected in the particular Excel, how can we go ahead and get it? By using get selected range activity, I can get it from which cell to which cell I have been selected. One is selected range activity, another one, which range has been selected that I can identify by using get selected range activity. These are the two activities that we are going to work it out based on the range. Now, if you see on my screen that I'm having sheet one in the Excel, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and so on. So I want to know the name of the sheets. How can I get it the sheet names by using our bot? There, I'm going to use get workbook sheet. I'm going to use it to get all the sheets of the particular Excel that I can go ahead and I can get it by using get workbook sheets. Now, if you see, that is one activity that we are going to use. Another activity, I want to take the name of the indexing. Like I shown you, right? This is the one indexing in the rows that I will be start with the one. But here, if you see the sheets, the indexing will come with 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. If you don't know the sheet names and you want to fetch the names of the workbook sheets, then you are going to use get workbook sheet based on indexes. So that what will happen, you can fetch the names of the sheets by using indexing. These four scenarios, we are going to work it out right now by using UiPath Path Studio. Let me switch to your path studio. Now let me add a sequence by using add sequence. I'm going to give it the name as just a range work and sheets. Okay. I'm going to work on the range activity and the work activity so that I'm just giving the sheets over here, range work and sheets. Let me go ahead. Let me create it. Now, as we know that one to work on this Excel, what is the first activity that we are going to drag and drop? Excel application scope. Let me drag and drop Excel application scope. Now, I'm going to select the browsing the file of the Excel. I'm going to take it student marks. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, my first select range. Now, let me go to select range where I can find this select range. Let me search in the activities, select range. You can see under app integration, under app integration, you will find Excel. Under Excel, you will find select range. Along with that, you will find get selected range also. This is the two activities right now we are going to work it out. Okay. Now, if you mouse over and select range, it will define selects an entire Excel range for further operations from a spreadsheet. You can define that entire range or else you can go ahead and you can select the range. Now let me drag and drop this activity on my do panel. Now if you see, I am mentioning the select range over here. Let me go to the properties of the select range. You, can, you have two inputs. One is range and the one sheet name. This is the two inputs that what you have. Now you don't have any outputs over here. You can see the output properties. I don't have any output properties. The range I'm going to mentioning it over here in the range, let us assume in double quotes, we are going to give the range, right, from B2 to T3. Okay, I'm just giving the range over here to select the values. 
but in runtime what will happen this is only selecting it so that what will happen it won't show you how it has been selected so where in the excel from which cell to which cell it has been selected you can get this input from other activities but here right now directly we are going to give the range over here okay now we don't have any output properties to show the range selected range in the excel i'm going to add some more activities over here just like message box we want to do more i will show you what is the reason so selected range completed i'm just giving the uh, message box over here and i'm going to save it now let me uh, let me run the bot now if you see selected range completed now if you see over here this is the highlight one i have not selected anything from the excel but if you see from b2 to you can see over here starting from b2 and this is the d3 and you can see in the ui that is in bot uh, let me click on okay and i will show it by using the select range properties b2 to d3 this is where that's extra you need to add some more activity to find it out because it it will hold the uh, data over there it will hold the the excel over there that's the reason i have added one more over here this is how we are going to see this is selecting if you see now i have stopped the board so that you can't find anything over here from c2 to d3 okay now this is how we are going to select it now i want to know let assume if i'm going to get this range from from some other ui or from some other boards i'm going to get this range then how can i get which range has been selected in the excel for that we are having get selected range activity as i shown you you know the selected range will be there under app integration under excel that we have get selected range let me drag and drop this excel over here after message box has been selected we will see the properties first we are having only the output property over here the range what are the range has been selected in the excel of this excel of this uh, b2 to d3 that i want to store it in the get selected range how can we go ahead and do that by clicking on control k i'm going to set a variable i'm saying var get selected range i will just give the same name okay and you can see the properties of variables over here now if you see the variables the variable name is var get selected range and it is variable type is string right now it has been stored over here the what are the output that we got it from the get selected range that has been stored in the variable where get selected range i want to display that what is the range has been selected now let me go ahead let me drag and drop this message box once again now i'm going to give where get selected range i'm not giving any two string because of the message box is accepting only strings right now let me go ahead let me run the bot now if you see the excel excel has been opened and then the selected range is the selected range this is the first one that you can see from b2 to d3 okay once it has been so you can find it out b2 to b2 to d3 this is the range which we have been selected that we got the output from get selected range i hope you understand how to use select range and get selected range now we'll go for the another activities in the same section like i explained you earlier that is get workbook sheet okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to add one more uh, sequence i'm just clicking right click add new sequence i will say work sheets i will give workbook sheets okay workbook sheets okay let me create it and then let me as usual that i'm going for the excel application scope and then i'm going to select the student marks or any excel file now what is the activity that we are going to do get workbook sheet let me drag and drop you can see over here let me search for first get workbook sheet there you can find workbook sheet as well as workbook sheets i will explain you one by one first of all i will go for the get workbook sheet let me drag and drop first of all we will see the properties of this get workbook sheet activity 
you are having the index and the output that we have now the index is nothing but as i informed you if i'm going to give 0 1 2 3 the order i will get the names of the sheets in the output now as i said the index will be starting with 0 for the worksheet uh, sheet names so that i will give sheet 1 or you know the index of 0 i will give some other if i'm having 3 okay i will give the index is 3 where the original sheet at the name it will come okay now the sheet name where i can store it i'll go ahead and give the output output in the variable output sheet name and then let me go ahead let me click on enter now if you see the variables it has been the variable has been created output sheet name with the variable type string okay now this is a single sheet name that we are going to get it okay don't forget that other again that will use get workbook sheets also now let me drag and drop the message box to print the sheet name okay what is the sheet name uh, where we'll get the sheet name in the output sheet name for the index of three what is the name of the sheet that if you want to find it out so that i'm going to use get workbook sheet let me run this bot these are all the small activities that what we have so that i'm covering all at a time that you can see in the excel i will show zero one two three right this is the name you can see original sheet this is the index name this is the sheet name which we have given that is based on the index we found it okay got it now uh, you got it how to use this get workbook sheet i want to know all the sheets are available in the particular excel how can i go ahead and do that let me delete this one for the time being to do that activity now i'm going to use get workbook sheets what it will do it will fetch all the sheets which are available in the excel and it will store in the list format it will stores in the list let me show you the properties if you see i'm not giving any kind of inputs it's directly take the excel from the excel application scope and then the output will be stored over here in the output in the sheets how i can give i'm going to set a variable sheet that is all sheets i'm just giving the variable name as all sheets or var all sheets let me click on enter now if you see the variable has been created with the name of var all sheets and you can see the variable type list of string now to read each and every uh, sheet is there in the available excel i'm going to use for each activity how can we go ahead and do that if you want to read it i'm going to use for each activity simply under workflow control i'm going to use work each for each and then i'm going to drag and drop onto my panel now this for each act activity this output which we got it from the get workbook sheets is the input now what is the input of output sheet name and then what i'm going to do i'm drag and dropping one more message box to check it out what are the names are available in the particular excel so how can i go ahead and do that see it is going through the for each loop and then it is going to be getting the item name so what i'm going to do item dot to string i'm going to give it and then i'm going to display in the message box I need to make a small change over here. This is op sheet is a different variable. Now, if you see where all sheets that what we have to use, right? Where all sheets, I have to select it. And then it is going for the loop to fetch all the sheets. Now, let me run the bot. Now, if you see the first one is sheet one. If you click OK, sheet two, sheet three, and the original sheet. This is all the sheets that you got this by using get workbook sheets activity i hope you understand how to use select range get selected range get workbook sheet and get workbook sheets in this session thank you for watching your post tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day